It is the holiday season and there are few better gifts that we could receive other than maybe friends and family and being held in the arms of someone who loves you unconditionally. Maybe for some of you some consistent content on this channel, there other than those things there are few greater treats that we could have received besides a brand new trailer for the Fallout TV series. How is it going everybody? My name is DeMarco and it feels incredible to be sitting here talking positively about Fallout something I'm very excited. I didn't have a channel around the time of Fallout 4 when all of the hype surrounding that game was building up but now Fallout fans, Bethesda fans, we have something that looks incredibly intriguing. When Fallout was originally pitched as a TV show I was filled with skepticism. We've had comments from Todd Howard where he said he was waiting for the right opportunity to do this where it needed to be the perfect fit in order to bring it and others have come and pitched ideas and he, Todd Howard had turned them down because it wasn't the right time or it wasn't the right pitch and there's been some good video game adaptations that have come out as of late and it's been really 50 50 you look at the Witcher live action show which I really thought did complete injustice to the series especially the books you could see them on my shelf right there or the halo tv show that really kind of dragged that through the mud and then you have some really stellar adaptations like arcane which was absolutely phenomenal and now it's the time for fallout and i was skeptical a little while back we received some still images of the tv show we got to see a look at the power armor we got to see a look at the ghoul character that'll be there and some other things and Everybody across the internet seemed to be losing their minds in excitement that this looked absolutely incredible from a handful of screenshots and that only led me to further dig in my skepticism. I looked at it and went, what are we getting really all that excited over? And then boom, Saturday morning, the new trailer hits for Amazon Prime and Deck complete 180. I do apologize for the lack of footage that I'll be able to show. TV networks are usually pretty stingy over copyright infringement and those things get claimed instantly if you try to reshare trailers, but you'll see some screenshots from it throughout. But overall, everything that we saw from the trailer looked incredible. It had good CGI, the costumes and the set designs look absolutely impeccable. The story, while it wasn't really shown off too much in this trailer, I'm intrigued. The setting itself is really cool going back off to the west coast in Fallout, which is exciting to visit it through this new medium. Since it's a side of Fallout, we really don't get to explore that often. And one aspect people really aren't talking too much about was the action sequences, which look really, really well done. There's a scene where the Brotherhood of Steel character we're going to be following is running away. There's explosions going off behind. It seems like there's a very heavy emphasis on practical effects. And I love that. It brings so much more authenticity and realism. It's why I like Christopher Nolan's films so much. And Jonathan Nolan's capturing the same thing here. And I'm excited to see more of that. And then interspersed throughout, you do have these little moments of humor. Not the Marvel, everybody's throwing out a one-liner, but the situational dark humor. It's very reminiscent of The Boys, which again, makes sense. And that style that The Boys was able to accomplish fits in so unbelievably well to the Fallout universe. It's the things you don't want to laugh at, but you kind of just chuckle at and smirk to yourself about. Then you don't maybe feel so good about it after the fact. It's all here. And the one massive takeaway that I have from everything that was shown off was that the show and the writers are really doing a good job of doing the series justice. That they're really leaning into what's already established, what fans will be able to latch onto, what will appreciate and take away from. But they're also trying to inject their new formula into this. They're trying to adapt it for TV, push the Fallout universe forward in different directions, and tell an interesting interesting story in the Fallout universe. It's a style that I think is primed for Bethesda in general. They have this open world RPG with all of this lore built around it and interesting scenarios to explore and you're constantly playing as a new character versus something like The Last of Us where they have to stick to the source material and if you deviate it too much, fans won't like it and if you stick too close then I'll look at it and think, 
why don't I just play the game? But what's important is it's respecting the fans and respecting the source material. You have beautifully done suits of power armor. We've seen the power armor next to someone that's not inside of the power armor, and it is horrifying. If you were a soldier going up against that, you would be quaking in your boots. You'd be crapping your pants at the sight of it. The Yagwai looked absolutely intimidating. It's always a thing with the games where as you get stronger as a character, they become less and less intimidating, but there was this one shot in the trailer where Yagwai is just ripping apart and thrashing around a piece of power armor and it was terrifying to see and that's the reality if you came across one of these beasts in the wild that's what would happen I don't care that you have your leveled up sniper skill that you could take it out from a hundred kilometers away that thing will wreak havoc on you. They're bringing in new mutants. The axolotl looked really fun. I'm excited to see what new creatures they bring as well, other than the established thing. We saw the Mr. Handys in the trailer. We saw the Brotherhood of Steel, the Yagwai, the Radroaches. Give me more axolotl type stuff and give me more of this guy, whatever's going on over here. He's very controversial for some reason because in the games, there's never been a Cyclops type character and people are saying, that's not true to my Fallout. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. You're talking about a world where kids have survived nuclear bombs in fridges, where vaults have turned people into literal plant monsters and have made clones that can only say Gary, where kids are self-sufficient in an entire town of nuclear beasts, radiation fallout and raiders and all sorts of horrible things. I don't even want to mention here, but no, the Cyclops from probably a radiation mutation, that one, or a vault tech experiment, that one went too far for some people. But that's exactly the kind of thing I think this show needs to lean more into. They need that zaniness, they need that new, otherwise, again, why wouldn't I just go play the games? But speaking of sticking to the source material, there's this one moment where we have the ghoul character. I have thoughts about the ghoul, and he's doing his gunsling, and it looks super cool, the set piece looks awesome, and then you just get this one shot where pfft, blood just splatters across an entire wall, and it looked awesome. I mean, the trailer opens up by saying it's coming from the studio that brought you the boys, and that level of blood and gore is inherently part of the Fallout franchise, it sort of always has been, but it was nice, it was something that I saw happen on the screen, I went, oh, okay, we are doing that part of Fallout, you're not shying away from it, cool. More of that! They have to at some point, they, they can't get too comical with the video gamey aspects, but I really want to see somebody just pickpocket the grenade and place it in a pocket and just Speaking of the ghoul, Walter Goggins, well, he is a great actor. I'm excited to see his performance as a ghoul lead character in the show. I really do wish that the studio makeup artists went more with trying to make him look like a ghoul. I understand the amount of time it takes and the misery that it must be putting on all that makeup to even look like what they accomplished for the sake of the TV show, but to me, a big part of the ghouls in the franchise have always been the character's ability to empathize with them and seeing that, yeah, they are disgusting, they are mutated beyond repair, but they're still human underneath. And you don't get that when quite literally the people who interviewed about the show said they still wanted Walter to look hot. And then too, you have some fun Easter eggs that I'm sure we'll find along the way. Already, if you watch the trailer, you see this pre-war scene when all the bombs are going off. But you have right in the bottom left corner there, the exact same Vault Tech advertisement to stay in one of their vaults that we had in Fallout 4. So nice little nods to the game itself. So you get plenty of that, you get some good CGI, and as I said, the Fallout universe is primed for these types of stories. You feel as though this could very easily be happening simultaneously with what's going on with the lone Vault Wanderer in Fallout 3, exploring the Capital Wasteland. And sitting back down to record this, I realized I didn't mention this at all, but clearly going for the Fallout 4 aesthetic just for the whole series, and I'm perfectly okay with that. I know some people have raised some qualms about it for one reason or another. I like it. It seems to me that Fallout Fallout 4 was the visual identity Bethesda has always wanted to achieve, but technical limitations or some other reason they just hadn't. Sure, it might create some lore and consistency somewhere, but it's a visual and aesthetic change, and I'm happy that Bethesda is trying to make something consistent. I'd rather them do it 
sooner rather than later or just now rather than never. For both Fallout fans or, you know, if you want to bring your significant other that doesn't play video games, there's probably something that they will enjoy about it here too if they're able to nail down that story part of it. They get introduced to this cool new universe, you get to sit beside them and point to the screen and pick out all the references and explain what everything is to the point where they just don't care anymore. And that's exciting for us Fallout fans to get to do, right? So I'm looking forward to it. Let me know your thoughts for this show down in the comments section below. Do you want to do a play-by-play? -play? If you want, you can check out the trailer. I'll remember, true my best, remember to leave it linked down below. And thank you all for your patience. It's been a long time since my last video, but I'm happy to be back talking Fallout with all of you. So with that said, I hope to see you all next time. So long, everybody.